A call for Singapore to continue creating safe and open platforms to discuss sensitive issues like religion and to work together to strengthen unity. This as the country emerges from COVID-19. While speaking at the International Conference on Cohesive Societies, President Halima Yaakob noted how the pandemic deepened fault lines across the world when actually what was needed for recovery was cooperation. Singapore too was not immune to such challenges. Societies cannot survive, let alone thrive, without the social glue that bonds people together. National resilience and stability are the result of people working together towards a common cause, united in the face of challenges and threats facing a country. Cohesive societies do not exist spontaneously. They are born of choice and conviction. The event, now in its second edition, is being held for the first time since the pandemic. It brings together more than 800 attendees from over 40 countries, including religious leaders and academics. Topics being discussed include faith and identity, as well as lessons learned during COVID-19 in these areas. There's also a program to help youth leaders drive social cohesion efforts in their communities. While speaking on the sidelines, Culture, Community and Youth Minister Edwin Tong says it's heartening to see past participants returning to mentor the younger ones. Engaging the young in more creative ways as well as creating opportunities to support the work of community groups. These were among the suggestions by researchers and youth leaders on how to further social harmony in Singapore. It comes on the back of a survey by the S. Rajaratnam School of International Studies, which found that Singapore was perceived to be the most socially cohesive Southeast Asian country. Now, that's because of the country's good social relations, which means accepting diversity, maintaining resilient social networks and trusting others. However, fairness and helpfulness were perceived by respondents as being less important factors in building a harmonious society. So researchers say that more can be done to raise awareness of the common good. Of making more space for sort of civil society, for, um, well, I think it's interfaith groups or faith groups or other civil society actors um, to come out and sort of work towards areas of the common good um, is something that can sort of, if like particularly post-pandemic, um, is something the government can sort of say, well, you know, it's not all our job. Other people can come in and help out in these spaces too. I also think there should be projects that are touching on, you know, like sports and arts, you know, and through that, sending out the message of social good. Um, I think things like climate, for example, more than forums and speeches, could it be in the form of dance? Could it be found the music? Where, you know, um, normal people every day who like music and sports are also engaged in these topics without it burdening them with too much of information and responsibilities. 